The first ever recipient of a pig heart has died two months after that historic transplant. David Bennett was the first person to receive an animal organ genetically modified for a human. And today we're hearing from his family. News Nation's Tom Negevin is live at New York's Mount Sinai West. And Tom, even though Mr. Bennett died, they are calling this a story of hope. They certainly are. That's the broad consensus, Nicole. Xenotransplantation, they believe, is the future for helping to deal with a shortage of organs around the world. And far from reducing expectations, Mr. Bennett's case is raising them tonight. David Bennett last month. <laughs> Was awesome. Watching the Super Bowl from his hospital bed. Beating inside his chest, a gene edited pig heart, modified so Bennett's immune system wouldn't reject it. Here's what his doctor told us after the operation. We were quite pleased that uh, as we separated from the heart lung machine, the animal heart was uh, functioning, by my eye at least, just about as normal as we could have expected. A handyman from Hagerstown, Maryland. Without this procedure, Bennett faced certain death. Bedridden, on life support, not eligible for a human heart. There were no other options. This was, um, a, you know, a first step into really um, uncharted territory. NYU's Dr. Robert Montgomery is both a transplant surgeon and a heart transplant recipient. I remain extremely optimistic. I think it's an incredible feat that um, he uh, was, you know, uh, kept alive for two months and was able to enjoy his family. It was a tough fight for the 57-year-old who passed away yesterday, seen here with his son, David Jr., who says in a statement tonight, we are grateful for every innovative moment, every crazy dream, every sleepless night that went into this historic effort. We hope this story can be the beginning of hope and not the end. And Nicole, that's exactly what experts in this field believe it already is. More than 106,000 people are on waiting lists for organ transplants, and 6,000 Americans die every year doing just that, waiting. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So certainly a story of hope. Tom, thank you. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.